and we're ready mr markham mm -hmm. you were one of the first six people on the scene when uh patsy klein cowboy copas and hawkshaw hawkins and randy hughes lives ended here in a plane crash 60 years ago today could you give us just a few minutes on how that happened well, what led you to be here there was a, there was a guy that was uh, named webb that lived over on 70 highway that's if you go as a crow flies it's just straight across through these woods and you'd run into 70 close to his house from here was a pilot and about dark that afternoon on the fourth he said that he heard a plane and he knew it was in trouble you could tell by the sound of the engine well the plane that we found was missing it took off from Dyersburg uh, earlier in the night uh, came from Kansas City Kansas where the they had a show out there and they landed in Dyersburg and and they they took off and the weather was really bad it was windy rainy uh, it was lightning it was real bad weather and I don't know what happened probably never will know what happened but they ended up and crashed in, in this area I'm standing and it's it's so strange I was talking a little bit while ago that the only way that anybody would have known where they were at between Nashville and and Dyersburg would have been somebody like the web guy that heard the, heard the engine otherwise nobody would have been here and it would probably been a while because there wasn't no people hung around out here at that time and it'd been a while before they'd found it what know. what was it like here 60 years ago well it was it's, it's a wooded area a lot of, a lot of trees there's a lot more un, uh, undergrowth than there is now uh, go over to my right and even behind me and to, the, to the left there was a, a some a field and barbed wire fences that we we crossed a couple of times you know just got coming down in the woods just looking because we had no idea and i think from where i'm standing at now we come when we first come in we come in to, from more of that direction over here and came down and uh, of course we had to come by this area where they where they were found we had to come by pretty close several times you know because we were all night long up and down through here, you know, looking for the, for the. Uh, so I, I think we discussed prior. You, you guys were here a while, took a break, and then came back. So eight to ten hours you looked, give or take. Yeah, give or take. Yeah, uh, yeah. We got it, it, the word got out that night that the plant it was possible that could be here. Nobody knew, and a lot of the opera people uh, began to come down here. Several of them. And they would stay up on the road, you know. And we we come out. You know, the first time we come out was wanting some coffee, you know. And, and one of them, one of the guys had some. We got, but we didn't have enough for everybody. And so somebody, and I can't remember, tell you who, said we'll go get you some coffee. So we let we come on back down here, and a few I don't know a little while later went back up and got us some coffee, and. Uh, there was a few more people up there at that time and uh that's when i met roger miller <clears throat> so what was the first part of the plane you guys saw that led you to realize you'd found the plane well i'll just be truthful with you i saw part part of the of the hull of the plane but it was very small mm -hmm. there wasn't anything of any size at all everything was just splattered i mean there's nothing that really stands out in my mind of the first thing i saw uh, I, I saw the plane that was just scattered i saw people mm. parts no people no nothing like you know that you could say is human but you knew it was but it was just all over the place, just all over the ground. Just the engine was literally buried in the ground, straight down. And I'm going to say there's probably six or eight inches of, of the engine sticking out of the ground. So that's that gives you an idea of how hard they hit the ground. Looking back over now, 60 years, 
what uh, what's the thing about that day that you still think about? Well, I think about the thing that you asked me there of the uh, what I saw. You know, the first thing I saw. I never expected to see anything like that. Right. I expected to find a plane, you know, with the tail sticking up or or something like that. I never expected that at all. And I think it's affected me all my life because uh, I went for a long time and I'm still not crazy about it. I literally wouldn't fly. It's just that simple. And uh, But it, it, it's affected me and uh, I think about it quite a bit. And uh, a while ago I just didn't have any idea. I didn't know if there'd be anybody out here or not, but I thought, hey, 60 years, I'm going to go out there. So. Well, we're glad you did. And looking forward to another 10 or 20, 30 years. Yeah. As people remember Patsy Cline and Cowboy Cobus and Hawk Shaw Hawkins and Randy Hughes, what do you hope they remember or take from this place out here? Well, I, I think uh, those people were so well known you know, of course, everybody knew them, and they were great entertainers. Uh, they can remember, well, this was the last place that they were on this earth, you know. So I, I guess that would be something here. And, and I'll be truthful with you. Uh, I, I wished, and I know a couple years ago we are talking about it, I wished the county would do a, just a little bit more uh, upgrading of the facility and make it a little more of a tourist attraction because it's uh, it's a lot of interest to a lot of people and I think it could be made into a really nice place.